Okay, Glenn's live stream. We're talking baseball. I'm kind of surprised of the lineup now. You got the Yankees Guardians. You got uh, Philly lining up with the Padres. And what happened to the Dodgers and and some of the others? The Mets. Um, doesn't look like it's to be. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts? We've got um, 50 seconds to play on. Watch it come through. So I'll do my best to what I think about it. <clears throat> and I have got the postseason shirt. I was going to be wearing this thing, but it looks like that's not the case down by two games technically in my calculations that they could have definitely been in the uh, top seat of the playoffs and that one game with Scherzer really knocked them uh, out of it at the last so <clears throat> this is what it is it's the way it's running down and I think the Padres as I'm wearing a brown hat otherwise I'd wear my Mets hat I think they're going to be the ones who are going to be the ones to beat, really. They're fired up. They're they're in momentum, and that's my pick. What do you think? What are your thoughts on the current baseball World Series and playoffs play? In the meantime, until we get there, I'm just reminiscing. Um, <clears throat> I just felt very impromptu today to go on live. I haven't done so in about a year. And a friend of mine who has been expecting me to uh, do some sports stuff with him hasn't heard from me in a while, but we've been busy. I know he's been busy. I feel bad about going after his his feed because he's got it going all the time and I'm a little bit um, intimidated because I don't know what I'm doing on some of it. Really, is my second broadcast. I'm I'm remembering about the Mets stays. When uh, really good infield there with the right and Reyes and Delgado, and of course Beltran with the bat. And so, so where do we go with this? I mean, I don't want the Mets to trade anyone. Technically, I like the team that they're with now. I want them to sign DeGrom for a big deal. I think three to five at least. If they can get seven, I don't know. But I think they should maintain their course. Further, you got guys now who have more experience in their belt. I think really you're going to be uh, somewhat with next one. Why some of the uh, sports guys are saying it's working for nine games, and they were saying they take the division, but they were saying they were not going to get to the playoffs. So there are two things down on that. They did get to the wild card. I think they technically could have gone further. It's a shame the Bats didn't wake up later. Um, some of these guys, I don't know if they're really cold weather oriented. Uh, Canna and um, Alonzo both grew up in uh, warmer weather climates. And, you know, I don't know if they were prepared really to go that extra distance in order to uh, get there. So there might be some mental preparation to that. And I, I know some experience. I'm in New York, I'm from the North. I played sports um, in really cold weather when I was a kid and you really gotta be prepared for it. It's not just weather, it's mental. You have to just mentally have a different game approach, I think, going into it. And so this is how we're doing it. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, um, the relief staff has got to maintain two uh, Diaz, Williams, um, you know, and a bunch. I mean, I just think they're phenomenal around this year, and I really like the team setup. 
Uh, Nemo, he's got to come back. Um, Alonzo's got to come back. They all got to come back. Their backstop is good, I believe. Their backstop, however, it looks like it's going to have a little bit of a change this year. And I'm kind of looking forward to that in a way. Uh, I'm not too skeptical. I hope the young guy, Alvarez, you know, probably be um, what they want early on. Maybe they can work out his butterflies in, you know, the uh, spring training. <sighs> so, Mets threw and through most of the year, and I had to drop my jacket. So, I'm off to the the Mets. Mets memories for the moment. Sports. And I'm going to be going through this. So, anyone out there? Anyone for talk? Let's see if I got this set right. Maybe I. <clears throat> maybe. Am I live? You don't have access. All right, so what is that? I don't know. I am live, though, according to this. But I'm not seeing a tag. Oh, wait, maybe I have to look. All right, let's go to that. Hopefully it doesn't kick me off of here. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> All right, I'm sure there's a reason for that, too. All right, I don't want to end the stream because really, I'm really curious as to what people think out there. Um, see online that um, Alonzo is up for the Hank Aaron Award this year. Homer may go on with limit as as is you know directed in the years um really i mean we haven't had continual you know home run guy for a while I'm trying to think who was the last guy who put up the big home run numbers uh i guess uh Probably Beltran and Delgado uh, before Alonzo. Uh, of course, my younger days goes to Kingman all the time. We had Dave Kingman. We always wanted to see the uh, King Kong home runs. That was good. That was good watching him there, too. And they were monster shots. When he hit them out, they were up and out. And I think that's kind of what Alonzo was doing. All right. Who do we got? Kijan Walker. And he's doing good. Still young. Still young. And, and I hope he's uh, got the kinks work out for next year. Shaky. I guess anything, uh, you know, anybody going into, um, you know, extra season play uh, is going to get butterflies. And the young guys, you know, like Alvarez, um, you know, being put right into it. Got to be pressure. Got to be pressure along. Carrasco. I'm going through the Mets pitching staff now. These guys are good. And I'm sure ERA overall has got to be, got to be in the top three, at least in the National League. I haven't really this this year, but I know. And of course, we have to. Um, Big batting leader this year. There's uh, 
to Grom. He's got to come back. Grom was awesome, even for half the year. I mean, I was wondering if he's done it all. But I seen him advancing in in the minors, and he was serious at it, and you knew. And that was Diaz, and Diaz got to come back. The best reliever, I think, in baseball right now. And I'm really glad about that. I like when we can say we're the best of things. Mets don't always be on top. So I don't know. Here's here's some stuff. I don't know how how good they they got a lot of talk about these guys. Are they are they the tops? They're good at the secondaries. Um, where their average defense? Average. Oh, I'll look at those guys. Um, but who would you replace them at? There are a few uh, Braves guys who are not coming back. And would they be a good replacement? Possibly. And I'm wondering. Lindor, sure. And he's got the long year deal. And, you know, he's coming back. I'm sure he's going to be good. He's going to be definitely. Uh, and our other. Top really the Seth Lugo, our pitch guy at the start position. We need to go. He's just awesome. He's got stuff. Got a lot of them sometimes, you know, and it's important, but it's got to be something for a pitcher, I think. And Marte, he didn't do nothing wrong. He, it wasn't his fault he got hurt. Could have been one of the uh, linchpin things for the playoffs overall, but really, um, and I don't blame it on pitching so much because even that one Degrom game, because he gives up four solo shots, right? Eleven strikeouts. So that could be even for any pitcher. You do something like that, and you got the bats and the runs behind you, and you win the game. This did not produce that situation. I wouldn't say that was a bad game. I just think our bats did not wake up, and it's too bad. Uh, the Grom had to get the negative on that. So here's some of our relief guys. Trevor May got some stuff. Like to see more of this next year. We got Mr. Matt having fun down at the beach. Of course, more home runs, which we do want. <laughs> and we're all rooting that way. Our batting champ, Jeff McNeil. And he did awesome. Awesome on the field. Awesome defense. Hits, runs. Overall, do we ask more? I don't know. More home runs. He's not a big home run guy to begin with. But you know what? I played baseball, and I was never a big home run guy. I always relied on because I had speed on the field. I could get the defense done. I can move around the bases. Get the hit. Get the hit. Get on base. You got someone behind you. Bring it over. Do a job. Get runs. Get Uh, you know, really, it's the way to be. Situation, of course. Alvarez and uh, like Nido, he. Uh, I could be um, critical on spots. I don't want to be. Sometimes, you know, ball bounces or something, or. I mean, there could be some misplays. He's got a nice arm. Good on getting guys out. Um, you know, so anyway, if you're a commentator or otherwise, and they're good. I like the Mets commentators. They really, they really got it going on. Center fielder for 2023 and hopefully for the next five years, Brandon Nemo. <laughs> nice home runs. I mean, you don't want to ask too much of guys sometimes. Are these guys staying in mid-relief? 
are they going on? Uh, so he's good on mid. Uh, he's getting up there. He's got some stuff too. I walked at one point watching it. He's off a little bit, off doing good calls, off only by a little bit. I guess that's all it takes to get the walk on. He loads the bases. He, the, you know, the run comes in. That was in the wild card game. But fucking his stuff was not that off. It was just the batters would talk the hole. Knew he was going to be going on the outside corners, and that's what got him. And he got frustrated toward the end of that session, and and they saw it. You know, they um, had to be pulled because otherwise, I mean, why, why ruin a good game? That was our only win game. And a little promo for the baseball guys on top. <clears throat> so I want to keep it all in baseball. So I don't see commentaries. Maybe I didn't do something right. Well, anyways, I'm running to 17 minutes. So you can comment further along if you want to. What are your thoughts? Who's going to the World Series? Is it the the Yankees and the Padres? Is it be the Guardians and the Phillies? You know, top in the National League was considered to be the Dodgers, and the Dodgers didn't do it, so they got knocked out of it. So that's it. But right now, I have not read the papers. I have not uh, gone into the big baseball thing. The only thing I saw this morning, maybe that was my energizer. Was Alonzo's being lined up with the Mike Aaron Award? That's nice. I think there should be more of that. And we'll see you next time. My second stream. And well, I think. See ya. Happy baseball. <laughs>